Alright. I feel like I look ashy, but it's just the lighting. So. Don't worry about that. But maybe if I turn this way. See? I'm not ashy. But, um. I didn't want to make this video yesterday. <clears throat> because it was a lot to take in. So. What is good, y'all? It's a blessed day. Blessed to be alive. You know what I'm saying? And I want you to stop this video right now and just say a prayer. Just say a quick prayer. Just say, yo, thank you, God, or whatever you believe in. Just say thank you for allowing me to be alive today. Allow and ask, ask God to allow you to get through your day. Like, to make it home tonight. Because sometimes, bro, you really dead ass don't know if you're going to make it to the crib or not. And I'm, oh, this is, this is, like, I don't tell people the things that I think because people probably think I'm crazy. But you'll be very surprised who probably thinks the same things you think once you open up about it. <clears throat> but, um, so yesterday Kobe Bryant, the basketball player, NBA star, NBA legend, died alongside with his daughter Gigi, alongside with seven other people. We're not going to count them out. But we we know who is in the limelight and who's known. Not saying that they're not known or anything. You know, that they're not important to society or anything. But the topic, the, the trending topic that's on Twitter right now. Kobe Bryant passed away. Now, I grew up in the era of Kobe Bryant. Okay? A little bit of Michael Jordan. Kobe Bryant for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And... I woke up, checked my phone like I usually do, and what I should start doing more often is thanking God for waking me up. I do it sometimes, but yesterday I just so happened to just pick my phone up, went on Twitter. The first thing I see when I open my Twitter is TMZ, Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash. I said, what? He ain't lying. <clears throat> So I'm scrolling on Twitter. Because I'm just like, that's a lie. I feel like niggas be lying. Scrolling on Twitter. And I keep seeing it. So I'm like, let me go to the trending side of Twitter to see if it's posted somewhere. It is. So I Google it. It is true. So, bruh. I do not take death well at all, like, because I can't process it, like, because I'm still trying to process life as it is, like, I think everybody else is also, but me, myself, personally, I cannot process death at all, like, I'm still trying to process my grandmother being gone, I'm still trying to process my cousin being gone, like, when other people that, you know, they pass and they die, it's just like, wow, they're not here. Like, this, this is crazy. Like, they're no longer, I can't reach out. I can't speak to that person ever again. That's insane to me. Like, when my grandmother died, she died of brain cancer. It was unexpected. It came out of nowhere. It was just this one time, I, I remember she came over to the house, and she had a cane. And I was just like, oh. It's coming. But I didn't know when it was coming. Feel me? She's old. So it was like, alright, I'm, I'm kind of expecting it. So it was just like, my cousin wasn't old. He was young. Around Kobe's age. Kobe was 41. Kobe and his daughter Gigi was on their way to a basketball game. With seven other people. And the plane crashed, bro. Like, I was lost for words when I was seeing those tweets on Twitter because I'm just like, nah, this is not real. It don't even seem real. Like, it's not, it's not real. Like, I'm just like, nah, this is not, who, what, Kobe's dead? No way. Kobe Bryant, like, he was so young. Gigi, she was 13. She didn't even full out her, like, fulfill her full capacity of life, like. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, wow, I made it to 27. 
27 years old. I've been in crazy ass situations where I could have lost my life. And God said it wasn't my time. And everyone says that you have a purpose here. You come here to fulfill out your purpose and when you're done fulfilling out your purpose, you leave. I'm not convinced that Gigi fulfilled out her purpose. I'm not convinced that Kobe Bryant fulfilled out his purpose. And I can't do nothing about that. Because God said they was ready to come home. And this is what I'm trying to figure out about life. <clears throat> if you believe in God, they say your life is already written out for you. God already has a plan for you. And it's like you just have to follow the steps. You have to lead in that direction of where you're going to go. Because God written it out for you. Now, I have these conversations with my mom. And I be wondering, like, that's crazy. I think that is crazy. I think that is, I think that is crazy. Like, I think that is beyond me. <laughs> beyond me. Like, those kids, what? Like, those, those kids, didn't, they didn't, like, people die every day. People die every single day. We got, we, we in the middle of World War Three right now. Niggas is dying every day, bro. B why? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why? Like, why, bro? Like, I can't get it. I don't understand. Like, my heart hurts and I don't even know him. My heart hurt for Nick. My heart hurt for Whitney Houston. My heart hurt for Michael Jackson. My heart hurt for my grandma. Like, people that die... It's hard to process, like good people. Like when good people die, it's hard to process, especially when they die suddenly, like inconveniently. Like not inconveniently, like uh, I don't know the word that I want to use. Not inconveniently, that's not the word I wanted to use. But just like out of nowhere, like when you really got people out here that's just out here wow and like and they just still out here just to float in and just just fucking shit up and just, like hmm like sometimes it's just a lot to take in it's a lot to take in especially when it's something that's that's hard to understand and people say when it's your time it's your time but it's just like I don't even know where my time is like when when but it's like, you want me to live my life to the fullest and then die. I have never been no, like, I have, I'm, I'm scared of death, okay? I'm scared of dying. Because one, <clears throat> I don't want to die and not fulfill out my dreams. And fill out, fulfill out my legacy. I don't, like, my plan. Like, my, my, my path, like, that God set me upon. Like, but it's just like... Well, King, what is what if it's in God's plan? It's just like, why the fuck? Why? Why? <laughs> what? That is that's what I'm trying to wrap my mind about it. Like, why create me? Put me here to to knock me off? Like, this is this. What is this life? Like, what is this? I'm trying to really trying to process this, bro. And not come up with nothing every single time. Like, this shit is hurtful, bro. Like, it's just hurtful. And in my timeline, that's all you just see. It's just Kobe and his daughter. And then the, the family. But it's mostly Kobe and his daughter. And it's just like, that shit is eating me every single day. Like, when I see the daughter, I just cry. Because it's just like, I don't like flying. And I said that. So, I've always said, like, when you're flying, you just, you can't do nothing. It's just, you know when you go in the roller coaster and you're just going down? 
I'm just going the fuck down. You just have that butterfly feeling in your stomach. And that's all I could just think. Like, I can't imagine what he was even thinking when all he could do was just just hold his daughter, I guess. I don't know. To then, oh, like, it's hard to vision. It's hard because it's just like, yeah. Oh, so, so ugly. I'm trying to, like, not cry. <laughs> Then you got this virus going around, killing people. We got World War Three in the middle of it. 2020 just started. This was supposed to be everybody's eat year. Like, everybody's supposed to eat, be successful, grow, prosper. And so far, this is the most depressing start of the year that I have ever witnessed, bro. Like... This is this this some sad shit. Like I just wanna just say I want you guys to like take a minute out of your day to pray for Vanessa Bryant and their family and I don't know the, the other family that was in the plane's names. But uh pray for their family too. Pray for pray for everybody. Everybody needs prayer. Just say a short prayer. Just a good prayer. Not not a negative prayer. A good prayer. Cause you know who's listening to. And we're gonna try to just Remove it because the devil's busy already. He's busy. And this is some sad ass shit. Like, and I just, I, I just, I gotta get on here yesterday and talk about it. But. I don't want to talk about this no more because it's making me like, I've tried not to cry, like my body, like I'm cold. My body is like cold, but it's hot. I'm shaking, like I'm just sad. <laughs> just sad. You get on the internet, you get sad. You got to get off your phone, you got to do other stuff. You just get sad. Is there going to be a time on my journey of life that I'm happy consistently? I just want to know is it like I'm loving I'm loving I'm loving the fact that I'm waking up every day but this world yeah I stay blessed Y'all stay blessed, y'all stay played, stay prayed up. If you got any family members that you beefing with that you love dearly, it's little, let that shit go. Let that shit ride. It's over. Squash it. Who cares? Hide or whatever. Just tell them you love them and that's it. Make sure you guys just stay up and prayed up. I love y'all.